Good afternoon, Walt. I told you I'm not going to confession. Why didn't you just call the police? What? I do work with some of the Mon gangs, and I heard there was some trouble in the neighborhood. Why didn't you call the police? Well, you know, I, I prayed that they would show up, but nobody answered. What were you thinking? Someone could have been killed. We're talking life and death here. When things go wrong, you gotta act quickly. When we were in Korea and a, a thousand screaming gooks came across our line, we didn't call the police, we reacted. We're not in Korea, Mr. Kowalski. I've been thinking about our conversation on life and death. About what you said. About how you carry around all the horrible things you were forced to do. Horrible things that won't leave you. It seems it would do you good to unload some of that burden. Things done during war are terrible. Being ordered to kill, killing to save yourself, killing to save others. You're right. Those are things I know nothing about. But I do know about forgiveness. And I've seen a lot of men who have confessed their sins, admitted their guilt, and left their burdens behind them. Stronger men than you. Men at war who were ordered to do appalling things and are now at peace. Well, I gotta hand it to you, Padre. You came here with your guns loaded this time. Thank you. And you're right about one thing. About stronger men than me reaching their salvation. Well, hell of fucking Louia. But you're wrong about something else. What's that, Mr. Kowalski? The thing that haunts a man the most what he isn't ordered to do.